Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Thrallish Nations. Today we are starting on top of our janky little village box, villager box, excuse me. And we are going on an adventure. We have a date with a dragon. Uh, that is the barn that we made in the last episode. I believe this is episode 10, by the way. Uh, so if you haven't seen that episode, go ahead and check it out. Um, obviously we have not inserted our sheep into our automatic sheep shearing mechanism because uh, we haven't built it yet. But we need to go out and find a stronghold, wherever it may be in this world. Yes, hmm, hmm. Uh, I think I have everything that I need, so we're just going to get right down to it. Where does this take us? That way. Awesome. So once we get closer, or if we find anything interesting, I will take uh, bring you folks back. We'll figure out if we can find out where this stronghold is. Well, it looks like we might have found it here. Uh, I'm going to lay down a couple of torches around just for when it hit nightfall. When it hits nightfall. Let's try proper English here. Uh, there's nothing that's going to pop up and or pop down into this hole that I'm about to dig. So let's see if we found the sucker. Hey, that's always a good sign. All right, and stronghold, I spy, awesome. All right, let's see what kind of, hopefully this is a, a better generation than the last stronghold that I was in. Oh, look how close I am to this little spirally guy. Because the last stronghold that I found on the last survival world, uh, it just generated so odd. It was like half in a cave, half not in a cave. It was really weird. <laughs> Uh, it's some iron. Ooh, I hear some skellies. Are, oh, look at that. Half in a cave. <laughs> Ow, jerk. All right, now that those idiots are taken care of, <laughs> let's see what's going on in this here stronghold. Uh, oh, hello there. Okay, we found that already. Uh, all right, so that's down this hallway here with the chest. What else is in here? Let's pick this. Oh, I don't have any room in the inventory. Is that seriously it? That's the whole stronghold? What? <laughs> Are you serious? Everything else down here is just caves. That's insane. I've never seen anything like that. Yep, that's the whole stronghold. I went around and I checked a couple other places. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm sorry, everyone who hates people who break spawners, but I'm never going to use that thing, ever. Uh, but yeah, that that was the whole stronghold. <laughs> this is it. Man, I was kind of hoping for, you know, one or two treasure rooms. <laughs> Let's just go behind here. Nope, there's nothing back there either. That's just insane. Well, I guess... Uh, I'll fill in the rest of these guys, and... Oh, did I... Oh, they're in the ender chest. Whew. Um, set up a little base camp here, and then we'll get this show on the road. Oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I still love that. All right, I've cleared out all the lava, because you can never have too much lava. Uh, we've already set our spawn. I waited until it was nighttime, and... Uh, as you can see, we don't have our god armor on because I don't want to lose it. I'm keeping the sword, uh, our sick touch, silk touch pick. <laughs> Words are hard. And our bow. And then we've got a whole bunch of other stuff that um, is hopefully going to help us with this. But, uh, all right, let's, let's give it a shot. Oh, this is kind of exactly where I didn't want to be. <laughs> And there's Miss Mary herself. Um, I would like to take out a, one or two of these Endermen right off the bat so I can get a couple of um, Ender Pearls. Just in case, you know, we go way too far up in the air. Um, we uh, should be able to just dive back down. And actually, real quick, right after I break this, maybe. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn the, let's see, music and sounds. We're going to turn hostile creatures way down for you. Done and done and back to game. Yay. I didn't look at that guy. Weird. Could have sworn I did. 
Come here, come here, come here. And as we glide back down from uh, <laughs> taking out that last one, all we've got to do now is take on this big old dumb lizard. And I'm going to pick up some more of this. Awesome. Gave ourselves a little bit of a golden apple here. And we'll see how long it takes to take this bird down. This might be it. No, oh, gosh, of course I had to say something. Let's see if we can take her out in the air. Uh, maybe two more. Last one. Last one. Got her. All right. Whew. There we go. Oh, man, that, <laughs> that sound is always so cool. <laughs> and then the rain of XP falls down upon us. Awesome. Very, very cool. I think what we might do now is I might kill a couple of these Endermen and actually, um, do I have to go in the portal? No, it's right over there. Cool. Uh, I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, I might kill a couple of these Endermen and just get some Ender Pearls because I w would really like a set of, oh, I don't have an Ender Chest. Oh, I mean, I could, if we find a, um, an End Village, what are those called? End City. I could probably just steal a ender chest from there. Because this is going to take me back to spawn. This is going to take us back to the farmhouse, not to the stronghold. That's a tough decision. Well, let's kill a couple of these endermen anyways, and uh, we'll see, see what I want to do after that. You know what? I've got almost two stacks of Ender Pearls, and I've always wanted to go end city hunting, so let's do that. We're going to go see where this thing throws us. If it throws us right next to an end city, that would be awesome. Um, I do have to pearl in here, don't I? Uh, yo! All right, chorus fruit galore. Very cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, which way are we facing here? Facing south. I feel like somebody told me to go south, and you know what? We're going to go south. <laughs> if I break that, it all breaks. Very cool. All right, uh, I'm just going to start going south, and uh, if I find an end city, I'll bring you guys back. Oh, we got two end cities coming up over in the distance there. Does that one have a ship? It looks pretty big. I don't know if it's got a ship. We'll have to get closer to it because it's not all rendered in yet. But it uh, looks like we might have to go this way, and we'll probably hit the bigger one first. While coming over to check out this city, which definitely has a ship, with that city over there, this one popped up. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm not upset about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I should go and check out the smaller one first since I've never done, what do people call it, end busting. Um, but uh, it's further away, and I want to go check out this one. <laughs> um, I might head over to that one first just because it does look a little smaller. This is unbelievably massive, and uh, I might want my god armor before I take on a bunch of shulkers. You know, especially if I haven't done it before. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to bypass this guy real quick. I'll probably grab the coordinates of it. Um, and we'll check out this city over here. Hey, and we got our first shulker shell. And the city at the end of the game. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of end busting. This is the bigger one. I figured I'm here. I might as well just do it. <laughs> um so we'll check out uh, what an end city has to offer us. Ah, and here's our first little bit of end loot. What do we got? We got some nifty pants. Some, ooh, I'll take that. Yes, as well. And some gold ingots. Awesome. And access to our beautiful god armor. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm just going to... Do I have my silky pit pick on me? I do. Um, I might just go ahead and make some shulkers <laughs> put all my stuff in search in, in some shulker boxes look at this these are my first shulker boxes ever by the way not like in this series ever i've never made my own shulkers before that's awesome 
Oh man, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> what do I put where? <laughs> uh, let's just let's manage a little bit of in, in inventory here, uh, and we'll put some rando stuff that we don't need at the moment in this beautiful shulker box that we just got. <clears throat> uh, like our treasures that we just got here. I'll hang on to these just in case we got a pillar up anywhere. We'll throw this stuff in here. Oh, I'm so excited. This is amazing. Um, we'll, we'll hang on to the scaffolding for just a bit. But, uh, yeah. This is, this is our first shulker ever. Right here. That's awesome. Uh, there it is, folks. The big old ship. I wonder if I can ender pearl out to it. I wonder if I'm that good with an ender pearl. I don't think I am, but I kind of want to try it. Let's take care of these shulkers so they're not a pain in the butt while we're trying to get over there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, did, did that one, you know what, not worth dropping to our death. We're out here. We'll go ahead and get that helm, or what, helmet? Dragon head in just a minute. But right now, we have a date with a shulker and some elytra. Ah, sky's the limit. My first elytra ever in survival Minecraft. Awesome. Got some diamonds out of it, too. Very cool. Very, very cool. You know what? I'll take that as well. And let's go ahead and be careful about grabbing this. Oh, no, it fell. But you know what? We can just follow it. Ah, and a dragon head for our efforts. <laughs> That's the silliest thing. <laughs> uh. All right, that big city's done, so we're going to head over this way. I think this is the small one, and I think the other big one is... Oh, it's over there. Cool. So we'll take out this small one, and, uh... Man, we might as well just hit the other big one, too. See if we can't get two Elytra. That would be awesome. And then we'll probably be done for the day. Not a bad, uh... Not a bad day, if I do say so myself. Man, that big room was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Uh, let's grab all those. You know what? I'll take some ingots, too. Let's just grab the chest. Um, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> let's take it. Why not? Um, and that might be this whole thing. Hey, yeah, that's this whole city done. <laughs> really wasn't much in here. So let's go back to that. Uh, or let's go over to that bigger city. So it turns out that was a completely different one because I think that's the first big end city we found. So the other one must be off in this direction, maybe? Let's just run around a little bit and see if we can't find it. Um, yeah, there it is. All right, that one should be the one that we're looking for. Yes, it's a bit smaller than this one, but it's still got a boat on it. Awesome. Well, I'm all done with those cities. Uh, I thought I was coming back to um, an end gateway that I saw, but I got a little lost. I ran out of ender pearls, so I think we're going to have to do this the, uh, the not as fun way where we take all the stuff that we want to keep, put it in a shulker box, in an ender chest, and then just dive off of the side of the, the wall into our deaths. <laughs> uh, it will be goodbye to these 74 levels, but I'm not entirely too worried about the levels that I have, to be perfectly honest. Uh, do I have another spot? I don't have another spot in here. Oh, we can't forget about our armor and our shield. All right, so let's pick you up, put you in here, put you in here. It does mean we're going, unfortunately, going to have to leave this ender chest here however we will be able to retrieve all of the items that are in it let me just make sure one more time that i have everything that i need and i believe correct me if i'm wrong this will be the first death of thrallish nations but i think it's worth it uh And we respawn right here back at the stronghold, which actually 
isn't that bad of a thing because we have access to our ender chest and if we really wanted to to get back to spawn we could just jump right in here you know that might bring us back here if we jump in here and then go back in the end portal that might bring us back here i'll give that a shot see what it brings me yep brings us back here <laughs> that was kind of silly however like i said we do have access to all of our fancy stuff so I can just go ahead and grab these shulker boxes that have things in them. Grab our things. Uh, I guess I might as well just put my guard armor back on, right? You, you, and you. Yeah. Awesome. So I'll grab my tools. I'll set my inventory the way it should be. And we will head back to Anthera. While I was heading home, I found this awesome flower biome, so I am taking advantage of this. I got, uh, geez, a stack of the Azures, which are one of my favorites, but now the Lily of the Valley. Oh, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, getting more cornflowers. Uh, I know we live in a, a plains biome at the moment, but uh, hey, free flowers are free, you know? Um, I should probably get one of these, because I don't think we have one of these yet. Uh, I don't need these, so we can make we can make those pretty easy. I got enough bone meal to to get stacks upon stacks of those. But what am I missing so far? Some more corn flowers, some more lilies of the valley, and then uh, we'll be on our way. Oh, hello there. I don't see a village anywhere, huh? I'll have to take uh, get a little bit closer and take coordinates. That's an interesting find. Hmm. Actually, not having a village around is pretty good because then we can possibly turn it into a farm or something. Who knows? But that's that's a pretty cool find. Man, we are finding so much out here. This is great. Got ourselves a little spruce village. Awesome. Oh. Oh, there's a little fox, little baby foxes. Oh my, if that's just not the cutest darn thing. Sleeping under the little trees. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna skirt by him. We're gonna head this way. We're not gonna disturb the little foxes. Well, a real life day and a trip to the Skelly Farm later. <laughs> uh, it was getting pretty late by the end of that uh, last clip there. We're back here at Anthera. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to check out our winnings from our first, or my first, end raid ever. So we've got this in the shulker box, some diamond armor, a uh, diamond pick, which is actually pretty dope. Uh, some ingots, some diamonds, uh, a couple of end rods, a saddle, two dragon heads, and two elytra. Awesome. We also got, I believe this is 17 shulkers. It's 3, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, including the one right here. Awesome. <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm going to start uh, uh, putting some stuff in shulker boxes and uh, <laughs> organizing an end ch ender chest like I should. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for coming on my first end raiding trip ever. It was pretty awesome. I think it was very successful. Uh, killed the dragon, got two elytra. I'm going to grab some mending books and uh, some unbreaking and throw it right on those, probably both of those um, elytra as fast as I humanly can. Uh, if you like the episode, make sure to hit that like button. And if you know, want to keep up to date on the crazy shenanigans that we are going to get done now that we can travel all over the place and we have shulker boxes to help us out with building um things will start to pick up real quick but anywho hit that subscribe button ring that little tiny bell and we'll see you all in the next episode